birthday last time, and my daughter got for me a, a watch, a damn god. <laughs> so, we are running after, out second after second. Amen. Eh? Amen. Um, actually, we are celebrating our marriage birthday, our anniversary, but it's not today, it's last time. It was on the first November, uh, first first September. Amen. Eh? Amen. Over there for four days now, we 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 turned twenty, we turned twenty twenty one years of our waiting, not of being together, but of our waiting. So that that is the substance of our festivalness to me. Amen. Eh? Amen. So. Uh, we thank God. Today we are going to we're going to learn about something very new. It is the life of desert. Na tebe yetu ni kwamba maisha katika katika desert. Katika jungle. Amen. Amen. Eh? Amen. Uh, wilderness is a place in life that you don't want to. This is when we say live wilderness is a place where you don't want to be in life. Is a situation which you don't want to go through into your life. Is a surprise into your journey. Amen. Eh? Wilderness is a place where God speaks. Hallelujah. He speaks to who? He speaks to the barren souls. Amen. 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 He speaks to barren souls. He speaks, he shows, this is a place where God shows his deepest lessons of life. In our time. Amen, amen. It's a place where we learn. When we talk about wilderness theologically in our everyday life, is a state of 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 learning. It's a state of learning. Now, word, what we call desert is a Hebrew word. The same word meaning says is a place of speaking. This is the meaning of the word desert. Desert is a Hebrew word. It means where is a place of speaking. Amen. Eh? Amen. Wilderness is a quiet place where you can speak. You are not disturbing anyone. It is a place of speaking. Amen. Eh? Amen. So within the, 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 the subject which is called life of desert or life of wilderness, we have we have I have tried to summarize five lessons inside within which we are going to go through. And this lesson, these five lessons, they are lessons that we are going to learn about the experiences of the of, a, of the life in the journey. The experiences of the life of wilderness we are going to go through right now. The first one is a new test comes often when God gives a new revelation. This is the first one. When God brings a new revelation in life, and the new test occurs. Amen. God, that's what I was elaborating. God cannot bring new things without new challenges. Mm. Sometimes you 
get difficult to endure. The Bible says, Then Moses cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed himself. He showed a piece of wood to Moses, and said to Moses, Grab it. And Moses, grabbing it, he threw it into that water, and the water became fit to drink. There, the Lord issued a ruling and uh, instruction for them and put them in the test. Number 26 says, He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right before His eyes, if you pay a special attention to His command and keep all His decrees, I will surely not bring on you any disease you undermine. I, any disease I shall not bring upon you as I brought to the Egyptians. For I am God your Lord, say Amen. Amen. Very powerful. <gasps> Musa akawaongoza Israeli waende mbele kutoka bahari ya Shamu nao wakatokea kwa jangwa ya Shuri wakaenda safari ya siku tatu jangwani wasione maji walipofika mahali palipoitwa Mara wa hawakupata kuyanywa yale maji ya Mara yalikuwa yalikuwa machungu kwa ajili ya hayo china lake likaitwa Mara Ndipo watu wakamnungunikia Musa wakisema tunywe nini naye akamlilia Bwana akamonyesha mti naye akautia katika hayo maji maji yakawa matamu basi akawawekea amri na hukumu huko akawaonja huko akawaambia kwamba utaisikiza kwa bidii sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako na kuyafanya aliyoelekea mbele zake na kutega masikio usikie maagizo yake na kuzishika amri zake mimi sitatia juu yako maradhi yoyote iliyowatia wamisri kwa kuwa mimi ndimi Bwana nikuponyae amen 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 so looking at this uh, at this uh, at this, uh, at this thing that we are dealing with under the subject of the life of desert uh, when i look at uh, at all of us who are here including myself i compare the the life that egyptians that, that israelites they went they went through into the desert. This is what maybe you do, you are facing, you are going through today. Amen. Eh? Amen. I don't know what could be your will, how you could describe today you, yourself as a person, your personal wilderness. I don't know. It could be a refusal of your everyday ongoing. And when you send applications, you have no job, but you have you have not yet get any out of the, all the demands that you have sent out. It could be the problem, the challenges of a marriage. It could be. It could be disease that you are going through. It could be children in your family who are not hearing after. It could be your challenge or desert, maybe. You are going through today. It could be lack of salvation into your your entire family, maybe on your partner's side or on your side or on your children's side. It could be the challenge synchronizing somewhere somehow in your everyday in your family. It could be, it could be, maybe it's a working place, although that work you have get it, you have got it. Perhaps your colleagues you have no good relationship with your boss. You are asking yourself, should I continue or should I stop? You are asking questions. This is a step, a step. 
call wilderness. Inaweza kuwa mahali unafanya kazi maana bado hauna maelewano mazuri na wenzako unafanya kazi unajiuliza niache kazi niendelee. Amen. Hiyo inaweza kuwa ni jambo pia. Haleluya. Amen. But uh, I told you any any single any single any single second you have the word we call why into your life know that God is about to speak a word. Lakini wakati wote maisha yako unakuwa na neno ambayo inasema ambayo inasema neno katika maisha yako utajua kwamba Mungu atazungumza jambo. Whenever you are not going undergoing something special to your life God keeps quiet. Wakati hauyapitia chochote katika maisha Mungu anawakia na nyamaza. Amen. 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 Because God allows us to go through wilderness because he wants to trust our ways. He wants to trust us. He wants to know that if we really will love him. Kwa maana Mungu anakubali na anaruhusu tupite katika jangwa ili aone kweli ya kwamba kama tunampenda. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why he will bless you. He will bring revelation. He will bring a new vision in the ministry. He will bring a new vision in your family. He will give you, he will create, he will open some slab gates into your life. But whenever everything happens in your life, new test comes. Hey lady, people begin running, running away of you. People begin, the challenge you have never faced begin to, to appear in your life. Je kwa maana atatuma mambo magumu itakufikia ambayo ndio hauwazie watu watakimbia mambo hauwa ujue utaona inaanza tokea what we are talking about here the story of the story of israelites they were to go from egypt at that time and then they were to travel for 14 day egypt and israel was to travel for a journey of 14 days but they they turned around until 40 years Israel Misri na na Kanani Misri na Kanani sio mbali sana wangepasha tembea siku 14 lakini wana jinsi walizunguruka hadi miaka 40 wana miaka 14 Yes amen 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 So you can ask yourself why because let me tell you it is God who tell who told them who sent Moses to, to take them from their captivity from Pharaoh's place and to put them where to take them to the land of promise because God promised the father of Israel that he will give that this is, this is their forefather this is Abraham they are rooting from Abraham I will give you that land but until they, they reach there they went into captivity and to move from captivity they went through the journey of wilderness if God will say Pharaoh is said to Moses say to Pharaoh to liberate my people to go through the journey and in the journey to worship me God is sending them in the journey to worship them to worship me kwamba ni Mungu ambaye alimwambia Musa kwamba waende uongoe wana wangu lakini ibidi wazunguke wapite katika hiyo shida zote miaka 40 ili waweze kufika kwa maana ilikuwa haki Mungu aliaitia baba wa imani ambaye ni Ibrahimu ya kwamba watu wako watu wangu wataenda huko na lakini atawatoa huko amen 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 lakini instead of making them go through an open door or a blessing was where they could travel easily without challenge or problem until come for 14 days now they are turning and going through wilderness please they go through wilderness for 40 years hali mwenyewe Mungu wakishika katika njia nzuri wafike vizuri bila shida lakini aliwazungusha kwa miaka magumu ile katika jangwa This is the why you have us in your life. As Israel they asked Moses, why are we going to suffer in this way? Baka wa Israeli walikuwa wanamhukumikia Musa wanamwambia, "Kwa nini tutateseka katika njia kama hizi?" Yeah, when you he wants you to cross the night. He will use wilderness to test you first before before that part of the job is done. Wakati anataka kubariki atatuma kwanza jangwa ili tayarishi. Hallelujah. Amen. The journey the desert of Israel it was a, a place where they were to talk to God. Wakati ile mahali pa jangwa ni mahali walipasha kumkumbuza na Mungu. He sent them a passage from captivity to go to wilderness and work for me. For me. Alisema mtoke katika katika utumwa uende kwenye jangwa kuniabudu mimi. I asked myself when I read here. 
Ninachuliza mwenyewe nilisika mahali hapa. In the middle of the story of Katika jangwa kuna watu. Are you saying them to 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 work for him in the middle of the story? Who who were those ones they were to go to to work to to to, to preach in the middle of the story? Kisha liwasi atuma katika jangwa. Jangwa kuna watu sasa alimatuma waende wahubiri watu gani? Amen amen. Amen. So perhaps you two you are undergoing such a challenge in your life and you are asking yourself why is this happening to me sasa zingine na wewe uko unapitia mambo magumu mazito unachouliza kwa nini hii inafika kwangu you pray god and he provided that particular work you have but nothing the challenge around your work you are asking yourself all though you have one but what is why is it god who said on maybe perhaps a group where you are what are the challenge but let me tell you these challenges they are part of your journey when god wants to open a great door for you when he want to make you reach to your into your canal he will always send you through desert and this is not 